Hey you guys, it's Mike from Two-Headed Giant, and we are here in the Popper event in MTG Arena. And so, I want to just go over this list I've put together. I want to say a big thanks out to Joey Moss over at Bad Boy Gaming for basically creating most of this list. I've adjusted it a little bit here and there, and uh, used up most of my common wild cards. As you can see, I don't have too many, but I've adapted his deck a little bit. Uh, not a whole lot. We've got four charge to pump your guys. So basically our creatures first. Four Healer Hawks, four Rustwing Falcons, uh, four Concordia Pegasus, four Silverbeak Griffins, and four, uh, I put one Pegasus Courser in here. Just I, need, I felt like I needed a little bit more creatures because the removal decks that I occasionally hit were getting rid of creatures and I was only getting four wins per round. So, um, but I'm getting four wins around and been doing really well, so I've been pretty happy with the deck. Four charge to pump all your guys who are attacking, a Righteous Blow just to kind of help kill off some of those early attacks or, you know, something where it's going to be a critically bad guy to attack you. So, um, three short swords to pump your guys as well as... Where is it? Uh, Take Vengeance is really important to destroy a tapped creature. This is really useful for the Parishioner's deck. Uh, a per persistent, pe persistent Petitioners? Not Parishioners, Petitioners. And um, a couple Luminous Bonds to make sure that their flyers can't attack. Um, let's see here. Or, uh, well, attack or block, actually. Uh, three Squires Devotions and three Inspired Charges. And also... Where is it? There. Four Knights Pledges. These will all make our flyers better. So let's go over to the event here. And, you know, I've come up four and two both times. Uh, I have all but one time. The only time Petitioners beat me with this was... Um, I didn't get enough land early on, and so they were able to... I wasn't able to get damage in in time. And I kept a hand I shouldn't have hit. So anyway, but I have big thanks again to Bad Boy Gaming. Now this is a, well, ugh. This is a little bit scary of a hand. I'm afraid to mold because I'm only playing 19 lands and uh, Joey was playing 22 in his and I kept drowning out. Like this is what's happening right here. Um, you know, we're on four lands out of our 19 on an opening hand of eight. So, um, that's been the only downfall to this deck. Oh, cool, I can discard a, uh, <laughs> discard a planes here. That's an easy call. Oh yeah, there's another planes, because that makes a lot of sense. Five out of the f first nine, yeah, it doesn't make any sense how the draws in this work sometimes, but anyway, we can't even play anything this turn. You know, hopefully we draw into another creature here. We're going to be up on four mana. Hopefully get no more mana. Like, that's the big, the worst thing that could happen to us is that we get... We just keep getting no mana. Okay. Fine. As long as I can get something to pump this guy or another dude, that would be huge. Or, you know, our sixth land. This is ridiculous. I'm not going to waste all the charges until I've got, you know, multiple guys to make it worth it. We can survive an awfully long time with this just with a, <laughs> a little 1-1 one -one dude. The funny thing is if they do a, like a moment of craving, I could actually save him. Alright. This guy's going to get the idea of what's wrong with me real quick here. Yep. Yep, you can have all my land, dude. There we go. This is going to largely negate most of his, uh, his damage he can do every turn. He'll be able to outdamage me by two, but when I really need to, I can pump things up. The one thing I am afraid of, like right now, is murder. A murder will absolutely ruin my day. All right, there you go. Yep, 
get some damage in there. Just need another dude. Well, that works too. And that resets us to 20 and puts him at 11. You know, he's basically on a two-turn clock if he can't kill my creature. On that three. Maybe a... Ah, that was the wrong order, sir. Okay, well, that will work. Okay, now he's officially on a... He can't kill this creature. <laughs> he is dead. Let's see if he just scoops. Does he just scoop? A little nervous right now, because right now, like, a kill spell... Yes, we got our first win. As you guys see, like, the draws on this are funny for as many creatures as I have. I got one creature the entire game. Hey, we got a drill bit. Alright, that puts us at 1-0. You know, when I started playing this, I was seeing tons and tons of creatures, and there's something weird about this where all of a sudden things have gotten wonky. Get. Okay, we got two creatures and three lands, which means we'll be able to cast Squire's Devotion, meaning the Pegasus will get lifelink. That's going to be a big deal. The reason that I took that one other Pegasus as my um, as my last creature was because it could give the token flying if it comes in, and that might be relevant for pushing through a little bit extra damage. All right, we got some green, so it's not a Parishioner's deck. It's a ramp deck. If it's mono green, they rarely play stuff to, um, let's get this guy out there, get extra damage in. Alright. Now, occasionally they play something to make, like, one of their things fight. Like, I had a, a deck, you know, get a Great Worm out against me, but they couldn't block. And, oh, this is one of those decks going sideways, and that's okay. It's a little scary, but, um... Alright, so this is a life linker now, so now we're not afraid of any amount of damage coming across, unless they can actually kill. Yeah, all of a sudden we've spread the life gap by 10. I think next turn we just throw the Pegasus out there to get the extra creature. We just keep going wide with them. Like if he wants to swing in here, that's fine. Yep, there's a couple more Sapperlings. Shock would do wonders for him right now. Curious what our next card is going to be. Curious, curious. trying to figure out what to do. I don't know why he's not just attacking. Like, that's the only smart play here. Or he went to get a beer. I'm not sure. Or another beverage. Who knows? It doesn't have to be a beer. No block. Okay, another land. Not what we wanted to see, but it means next turn if we get a two drop that we will be able to um, here we need to make sure only these guys attack, that we don't attack with the little weenie guy that he's there. Should we really need a blocker? I don't think we're going to. I think we pretty much got this game in hand. Is what would be absolutely amazing is, um, I don't even remember, one of our pump cards. You know, that's just going to give everything, make everything bigger. I mean, he can go sideways on us right now and do great. He can do uh, <laughs> five, six, seven, sure. Taking it like a champ. I'm not even gonna, not even going to block anything, just in case he's got like a fight thing. Yep, that's gonna hurt a little bit more. All right, so I've got. Let's 
see. Got five, six, seven. Okay, basically. Alright. Hmm. So let's see here. I just realized that he completely opened himself up here. How many of these guys? Uh, that's three, four, five, six, seven damage tops. So, yeah, we're just gonna go all in. That's gonna put us back up to 14. We can block whatever the biggest thing coming back across at us is. So that way, if he played the same thing, I mean, it would be scary still. He might get us if, I don't know. Yeah, he would, he would be able to get us with the same, but we got it. He folded. Whew. That was scary, that one turn before coming across. You probably should have... Hey, there's another pack. And that puts us at 2-0, and a good start. Man, we're only 11 minutes from the deck tech all the way through the first two wins. This is going to be... This is going pretty quick. I like the deck. It's simple, it's basic, it's easy. Most people don't have stuff to block it, and this is a terrible opening hand. Terrible. Even if I got a land, I've got a mulligan. Okay, that's a great second hand. Um, yeah, let's take that. All right, so we're gonna start with a healer's hawk. Life gain, that's interesting. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get out another creature here. And there's no surprises here, really. We're just going to play the sword. I could have, you know, made my guy a little bit more powerful here this turn, but I'd rather have bodies on the field, so that way if charge becomes a... there's a good reason to have it. Alright, a 2-3 flyer. There, that's what we needed to see. Hmm. That 2 3 flyer, that's a thing right there. Man. Let's see which way we go here. Give it to this guy. So he's got lifelink. He can come in and if nothing else, if nothing else here, yeah, he's, he, he just bounces off it if, he, if the guy was smart and just blocks. Cool. Next turn we could give him a sword. Okay. So we're playing against bigger flyers. It's really interesting here. attack with that guy. Okay. Sure. And I'm trying to think here. That 
gives us the ability to block both of those guys effectively. Not that we're necessarily going to do that. He's gonna do the same kind of stuff that we are. Okay. Sure. No blocks. The one difference here is all my dudes okay well that guy's being a four or five is a problem hmm So that guy will become a 4-5 next turn as well. Oh, interesting. That's going to get to be a worse situation, and he's going all sideways here. And he's not attacking. Well, good on you for... Uh, <laughs> Getting you know, I really like the uh, that territorial hammer skull. That guy's actually pretty decent here. So all his stuff's getting two one. Okay. So who can't block this turn? Hmm. Okay, so he can't block. Go ahead and do this. I, I really, like, this is the first time I have been... These guys are going to kill this guy because we've got to be able to start blocking there. And then... Block this guy here and he can only kill one guy. And that's how we got to do it for now. He's smart if he kills our bigger guy, but he's probably going to take the healer's hawk because he doesn't want that guy getting bigger. Nope, he left the hawk. And we top deck land, which is pretty much the doom of us. Yikes. This is probably GG for us. Well, a well-made deck here. The only thing is, I don't think it would uh, beat the petitioner's deck. This deck is more meant to beat this. So... Bum bum. Um... We're gonna pass. So he's probably gonna keep pumping his lifelink guy up. He's probably got this. I mean, I can't see a way where he doesn't have it, but. Okay, that's good. Should have mentored there. Wow, he took out the healer's hawk. Well, I'll be. He still got us, like, easily. Long my life here if um, that yeah I was gonna say if I get that, that five life I 
should have wished I'd seen more of those earlier. The fact that this guy has vigilance is what's killing us here. we can take that guy out. We were able to hold off long enough. I'm glad I blocked how I did, because now if he wants to swing in... Now he can't even win in a battle. And we're going sideways on the guy. Seven vigilance, really? Hmm. So, is it better to start pumping one of these other guys? If we swing, we go up to eight, and he can take seven from us as we see it. That's if we didn't block. Gosh. Of course. guys going here. We need to do seven damage to him. And we're just going to block all across the board here. We're going to actually have a lot more flyers than he's got, and we're going to get a bunch of life. Pretty good here.
he can't... Without a pump spell. That's fine. That's fine. Alright. Hopefully he doesn't get a pump spell here. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, so we go, let's see that's a 1-3, He may have hijinks and he may have shenanigans. It's creepy cat. All his creepiness. This is the huge play of the day right here. This is where we absolutely take over and we wreck his day. So at this point, uh, I don't think it really matters what we're attacking with because I don't think... Let's see, we've got... Nine damage on the board. Let's say we go here. 
here, here, and here. you'd play Twilight Panther if you're not playing any swamps. That's about the craziest thing I've seen. Without another flyer, I mean, he's going to be in a world of hurt this turn. Is he really going to... Okay. Just about wide open for the win here. Eh, let's play smart magic here. Alright, so we've got... He's got 10 life. He can do 3 damage to us next turn. was a heck of a game and that's why you don't concede early guys as long and drawn out as that was I mean that was like a 20 minute match or something like that and all right let's go ahead and take that that was an unbelievable turnaround win you know we haven't seen any persistent petitioners parishioners whatever they're called in, a, in this one you know, this deck was made to defeat that. I think I had a turn four win with this deck. This is a good hand. This is a very, very good hand. He's not universally good against everything, but three creatures, a pump, and a kill. Kind of sets us up to deal with just about anything. All right, a black is not what we're dying to see here. So let's throw a healer's hawk out there. I think my biggest thing I'm going to be afraid of is something like a, um, let's see, good, we're on three lands, so let's throw out a couple more dudes. Um, you know what, we're going to throw that guy out here. The one thing I'm just a little afraid of is, like, if he has a Golden Demise or something, I can't remember if that's a common or an uncommon, but, man, if he if he pulled that out, then all of a sudden, we'd be gone. So, what has he got? He's got that guy. Alright, so let's go here. Here, and there and we can attack three in the air now here's where I'm afraid a murder actually that wouldn't be that bad that's not great eh. no blocks it's not that horrible either and now we're getting too many lands. That's that's the biggest um, that's the biggest problem we've got here. I could kill this guy with the uh, take vengeance. Just kind of I'm hesitant. I don't want to. We're not in a bad place. Like we're way up on life. And if he brings something out that threatens us more later, I'd rather hold it for that. Oh. OK. 
Okay, a 2 2 flyer. And that's exactly what we wanted to see here. Does he throw a body in front of it? I doubt it. Alright, so that keeps us <laughs> 22 to 10 here. Oh, that guy is not bad. Okay, no blocks. Okay, another Concordia Pegasus. This guy's gonna figure out real quick that. Let's see here. Let's stick this over here on the Pegasus that can attack. Dum 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 dum. Do I lose my only flyer and then get clobbered next turn, or do I just take the five damage? Dum dum dum. Putting him in impossible places, decisions here. Perfect. And let's see. Yeah, I mean we're. Still gonna hold the take venue. There's no reason to use it right now. It's a win more situation. I don't want to get haughty here. All right, no blocks. Do your worst, buddy. We can find a card to. Yep, there it goes. Now here's the point where it does make more sense to, um, let's see, so we're going to swing in for four right now. And no reason to play the extra land yet. I don't think we kill off his guy yet. I'm still afraid of something big coming out, like that flies, that shuts us down. And what's he got? Can he kill? That's it. That's game. Good game, buddy. Four in the air. This puts us at 4-0. Oh. oh, look at you. Okay, that's fine. You want to start getting cute with me? I'm going to get cute with you. I don't want any kind of ultra scary... And let's go ahead and drop the extra land. I don't know why we would need it, but... He's got to stop three flyers next turn and be able to make all of his guys, like... Yeah, that's <laughs> oh, good game, buddy. Way to, way to take yourself out. I love it. I just realized I don't have the webcam up now. Oh, well. We'll just 
render the video without the webcam because oh it's sitting over there facing some random direction neat going for the five and oh so this right here is a very very iffy hand it's got some plays though so we're gonna give it a shot because that that pegasus is a little resilient we're kind of putting all our eggs in one basket here, but we can draw into more. With only 19 lands, we shouldn't be having anything crazy, crazy going on. There's blue. That's the one thing I am a little afraid of, is seeing blue. Get our Pegasus out here. Next turn, we get the Healer's Hawk. That's good. Okay, Persistent Petitioner. definitely set up to beat this deck. We've got the right cards. Okay, that's fine. He's not even... No, he may yet. There we go. Oh, there goes another Healer's Hawk. Oh, but hey, we got another one, so... Eh, who knew? The big thing we want to do right now is we want to go sideways. I almost passed without attacking. Which I think I've done that once already because he's still at 18 life. Oops. Hope I don't lose within one life. That would be a terrible way to go here. Yep, we get a couple petitioners here. Nope, he's, uh, he didn't have it. Okay. And, hmm, another Pegasus. He's playing a long game, so we're gonna play a long game. He was was going quicker, we'd be forced to start playing the equip cards to start pushing out the maximum amount of damage each turn. But this is going to, like, he's on, actually on a, he doesn't know it, he's on a tur two turn clock right now. More or less. Because the charge will make us attack for eight one turn. We'll have this. So I'll actually bring it up to ten for that turn. And if we get another charge or whatever, it's over. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do, buddy? has slowed us down just a hair. There's the fourth petitioner. He's getting whittled lower all the time, so... He's gonna start really slamming the petitioners out here soon. not leaving anybody tapped on my turn, which is interesting. The guy would do negative damage. Would that actually heal him? I know it wouldn't, but... There goes a whole bunch of cards. It's down to 32 in the deck. Let's go to damage. And... You know what? You left us something to do here. I mean, he's, 
got the the cards in hand needed to. Uh... Oh man, he's just drawing. He's he could be slamming more petitioners out here. There we go. That's what I was expecting. Okay, and it's amazing that we've only we're still only on two land here. I'm waiting for something here. Okay. He may get it. He may get there. Not getting the third mana here has actually severely, severely crippled us. There's a good one. get this here. Unfortunately. Maybe. Actually, the ability to kill off one parishioner here might make the difference on this. Because he needs to, like, basically to make me lose... No, he's got it. He's got it. Really, we, we lost. We never hit the extra mana. If you don't get stuck on two mana, guys, you make it with this deck. But who knew that we wouldn't draw a third mana the entire game. Still got our four wins. Let's see if we can get in there for a fifth. Really disappointing, because we had that deck on the ropes. And frankly, it just came a little too short. We're keeping this, because there's four plays that we can do with one land. Hopefully we draw into more land. If we see an island, I'll be concerned. That petitioner's deck, like I understand, it is a strong deck for a popper. But it's not invincible. We might be hitting the same thing again here. There we go wide first. The good thing about this is if they bounce something, these are all um, essence scatter. Sure. It is petitioners. Who knew? And as long as we see more than one mana this game, 
I mean, I go from drowning out in some games to, uh... Well, that's good news. It means we're guaranteed to get our short sword out here. That righteous blow is more or less a, uh... Do nothing card for us, unfortunately. So, will this one hand land get there? Nope. Because now it's a two-land hand. Yeah, this guy's going down. There is no way. I mean, he's got two turns to either get rid of guys or to mill me all the way out. And that ain't gonna happen. And if we get a land next turn, then we can attack in even stronger. Yup. Resolve. And this is exactly how you beat persistent petitioners. You persistently just pummel them in the friggin' face. Good game. That's our five wins, guys. This is a lot of fun to play, and it's pretty dang quick. Our overall record now is, let's see, 13 and 5. Alright, we get that card. Oh, this is not our overall reward. I've been getting a lot of rares. Primal Amulet and Raging Sword Tooth. So anyway, guys, we had that one really long game go in there. Um, but, you know, this did take a while. It was 53 minutes by the end of it. Hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to shoot us a thumbs up if you did, if you found it helpful. We love hearing from you. Are you guys having success in Pauper? What deck are you having? I know there's a really good green one out there as well. Um, there's the petitioners. There's all kinds of good stuff. Um, what are you having success with? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. And hit that bell for good luck. And we will see you guys back here next time. So this is Mike from Two-Headed Giant. And until next time, I'm out.